Using eBay or Amazon is easier than yard sales of the past, whether you sell items from the comfort of your own home, have money transferred straight to you, or drop products off in the mail. But when it comes to selling your print-on-demand products online, choosing the right e-commerce site is essential, and that's exactly what we'll be looking at in this video, so pay close attention so you don't miss anything. Let's dive in. eBay. Since its founding in 1995, eBay has initiated various companies, including PayPal, Kijiji, and StubHub, and it now counts 159 million active consumers as of the second half of 2021. So how does eBay generate revenue? PayPal is the first and most crucial, eBay's money transfer and payment service are highly profitable, accounting for over half of the company's income, with a 2.9% plus 30 cents fee for each sale. PayPal fees can quickly cut into a seller's profit margins, but let's concentrate on the aspects of eBay that are similar to Amazon. The eBay marketplace used to charge consumers an initial bid-based listing fee for an item and a final value fee at the sale. Every eBay seller now receives several free listings. According to the platform, sellers who have a store membership receive more free insertion fee listings every month than those who do not have one. eBay charges an additional final value fee which is estimated at 10% of the sale price. Also, its membership options for premium sellers provide tons of free listings each month, a lower insertion rate for sellers who exceed their allocation, lower final value fees. Sellers can enhance their listings or advertise their products for a fixed price using the marketplace. The exact costs apply to fixed price listings as they do to auction listings. Amazon Amazon's charge system is way more complicated than eBay's. Sellers have two options for listing their business. They may use either as individuals or as professionals. Individuals pay 99 cents for each item listed, plus a referral fee that varies between 8% and 45% based on the product's category. However, there is a variable closure cost of $1.80 per product for books, media, DVDs, and videos products, which is not flexible. Other products have a variable closing cost based on the total weight of the product. Each vendor may list their products in 20 to 30 distinct categories, whether selling as an individual or as a professional, Amazon will set shipping fees for you, so you can determine the total price simply without having to look for each seller's shipping prices. Amazon allows vendors to upload their items simply by providing their UPC or SKU number. This method reduces the time it takes for a seller to create a listing. Normally, payments are made via bank transfers and Amazon's fraud protection program protects sellers. Both Amazon and eBay provide seller protection and the option to contact a buyer directly if a problem occurs. They also offer lessons and customer support to first-time merchants. Differences between Amazon and eBay Let's take a look at the main differences between Amazon and eBay. Selling fees on eBay used to be confusing and pricey. Since they reduced their costs, the structure looks sharper and more transparent. Amazon, on the other hand, may be complicated and challenging to use. However, with multi-tiered pricing systems and closing fees that fluctuate by item category, product weight, and buyer payment options, any choices might be seen as cherry-picking or skewed towards one firm or the other. Compared to eBay, Amazon offers a few benefits. The site does a wonderful job of making it clear that a consumer can buy straight from it. Amazon's and the seller's merchandise are both listed. One-click buying allows you to make purchases. Buyers may finish their transactions without leaving the Amazon site. Unlike on eBay or PayPal, sellers may even store and transport their merch straight from Amazon's warehouses using Amazon FBA. A seller, on the other hand, can customize and edit their eBay listings. It's more enticing and will likely result in a sale than Amazon's neutral listings as it allows you to place eye-catching color advertisements within a list. How to get paid as a seller Setting up a seller's account on Amazon is a multi-step process. Amazon Fulfillment automatically enrolls them in a professional account. Users enter their information based on previous logins, if any. A section for tax identification information is also included. Sellers can start on eBay in a matter of seconds after signing up for an account or linking an existing one. It's a bit difficult to deposit money into a bank account. Amazon's users receive payment by direct transfer to their bank account, while eBay users receive payment via PayPal. Pros and Cons of Selling on eBay Selling on eBay is a simple way to make money from your print-on-demand business. 
most buyers and sellers gained experience on eBay, as its search engine makes it easier to find what you're looking for on the site. However, there are some drawbacks to using eBay than other online marketplaces. For beginners, you'll have to pay fees to use the platform, you'll have minimal control over your products, and if consumers don't pay you, you may incur payment troubles. Pros, global coverage, easy to set up an account, you can build your brand and boost your income. Cons, you must pay fees, which may fluctuate over time. You must contend with other competitive merchants. If a user does not pay, you might not be compensated for your services. Pros and cons of selling on Amazon. With billions of customers around the world, Amazon is a behemoth, providing online retailers with top-notch services. Your items may appear in recommendation lists if you know how to categorize them. If you run your store through Amazon, they will also store your merch in their vast warehouses. This can be a great bonus over keeping your things in your garage or paying for storage. Amazon Prime members are more inclined to conduct 90% of their shopping on the site, so if you can reach them, you'll likely see an increase in revenue. Fees are a drawback. Unlike eBay, you don't get any relationship with your consumers, and Amazon engulfs your items in business, so you don't get the chance to build a brand. Pros, massive customer base of millions of people around the world. Among online shoppers, Amazon is a renowned and trusted brand. When your items are tagged, they may appear in Amazon's suggested products. Cons, you can't build your brand. Your merch may not get enough attention. Amazon fees are expensive. Which is the best? E-commerce may be a bit risky, but because you don't have to engage with your consumers, Amazon may have more precautions in place as it handles payments to the vendor. However, both Amazon and eBay have several measures that protect their vendors and buyers. Both sites have upsides and downsides for sellers, but eBay may be a better alternative if you want to build a brand. If you prefer to have built-in storage for your products, Amazon may be the best choice for you. And that's it. We've come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future updates. Thank you and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos about the wonderful world of print on demand. Arrivederci.